everyone, welcome back. Today I have another fall DIY video for you. I have five brand new Dollar Tree DIYs. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Jessica, and if you like home decor and DIYs on a budget, make sure to stick around by hitting the subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. All right, let's get started. For this first DIY, I picked up five of these wooden pumpkins from Dollar Tree. I specifically liked the color of these ones. They do have white and a green one and a darker orange, but I like this yellowy orange color. So I started off by removing just the bows on the top of the stems, and now I'm going to flip them over and I'm going to remove the tags because I'm going to use the backs of the pumpkins instead of the fronts because like I said, I like the color. So I wanna stick with that and not have to repaint these. So it took a little bit to remove the tags, but adding a little bit of heat made it kind of easy. Um, so that's what I did. Then to get the sticky residue off, I just used a little bit of Goo Gone and then made sure I wiped it really clean after that. Now I'm going to just use some stencils that I got off of Amazon a long time ago and I'm going to spell out the word fall onto this pumpkin so um, each pumpkin is going to have a letter in fall. I started out using white paint to stencil my letters. Um, it was like a white creamy paint, and I thought that's the look I was going for, but in the end you'll see that I changed that later on. <laughs> um, but you know, that's what DIY is all about, is just kind of going with the flow, and if you don't like something in the beginning, you hopefully can go back and change it, which I could with these stencils. So. Um, I went ahead, before I changed the letters, I went ahead and decided to paint little pumpkins on each one of these pumpkins. So I just used some of that white paint in a small paintbrush, and I basically just painted little ovals or circles around, and I um, wasn't worried if they were perfect because I wanted them to kind of look more rustic and painted on. Um, and then I took a little bit of brown paint and I just made little stems on each one. The white paint I was using was the white acrylic paint from Dollar Tree and it seems to not cover that well. So I did, after um, the pumpkins were dry, I went over them again with a second coat of paint just to make sure they were a little bit darker and you could see them just a little bit better. Okay, now after I got the pumpkins all painted, I'm going to work on the letters. They just didn't stand out enough for me, so at first I decided I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'm just going to go ahead and trace around all of the letters and that'll help make it stand out. But I didn't like that either, so I ended up going back with a thicker Sharpie marker and I just used that to color in the letters, and I think it looks a lot better like that. Now that everything is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and attach my pumpkins together. I'm just using some hot glue to do this, um, but I only use hot glue for video purposes just so that way it makes everything dry a little bit quicker for me. So I would definitely recommend using E6000 or wood glue to give this a stronger hold because if it falls it will break with just being held together with hot glue. Next thing I did was I used some of this lace ribbon to make four little bows for the tops of my pumpkins. I just attached those with some hot glue to the stems and that was perfectly fine and I love how this turned out. So this next DIY is a take on my Halloween wreath. If you didn't see that, check out the video. It's linked down below in the description box. Um, but I just took some of this yellowy orange ribbon from Dollar Tree and one of these foam wreath forms from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap the whole thing with this yarn. I just started at one end, hot glued that end down and then just kept wrapping it. And I kept it tight as I went 
it around. And this is a little time consuming. It takes about a half an hour to wrap the whole wreath. Um, but if you put on a TV show and relax, it's something, you know, that you can do pretty easily. Uh, and then I used a bunch of these dahlias to um, kind of give it a little bit of contrast and put some flowers on this wreath. So I used six dahlias and I just took them off the stems. There is a little part that sticks out at the bottom of the dahlia that makes it not sit flush and also um, on the leaf. So I just cut that flush off of the leaf and the flower and then I hot glued the leaves to the bottom of the flower and then hot glued the whole thing around the wreath and I did it on just one side of the wreath form um, and then I decided to use some of these small little pumpkins that comes from one of these um, leaf bunches from Dollar Tree. I had four of them left, so I just took them off and hot glued them um, in between the flowers and around the wreath the way I liked it. And it's such a simple, pretty wreath, but it definitely packs a punch um, with that yellow color and it matches the pumpkins from the First DIY so I love how that worked out um, and now I have a cute wreath for fall and then also one for Halloween I love how it turned out So for this DIY, I'm going to be making some yarn pumpkins for a yarn pumpkin garland. So I'm using that same gold orange uh, yarn that I used in the last DIY and then also some cream colored yarn. I'm going to start off by just wrapping the gold yarn around my hand about 35 to 40 times the same way you would do for a tassel or a pom pom. Then I'm going to carefully uh, take off the yarn so that that way it keeps its shape and I'm going to use some twine to tie off my pumpkin. So I just cut a very long piece of twine um, because I wasn't sure how long my garland was going to be but I cut that off and then I started at one end and I just tied the twine around the middle of my yarn. And then I'm going to make a little stem with the twine just by kind of looping the extra twine on the one side and using a little bit of hot glue to secure that down so I have like a little loop at the top and then I'm just gonna fluff my pumpkin out and then I'm gonna alternate colors so I'm gonna do the same thing with the uh, cream colored yarn to make a cream colored pumpkin and if you don't want to um, use your hand to um, make your pumpkins, to wrap your pumpkins. You could use a piece of cardboard um, or a piece of wood, whatever you have um, to do that because I know it does kind of get a little bit tight when you're wrapping it around your hand. But um, yeah, then you just, uh, for the second one, you just use that extra twine and you just tie a knot and then you feed that extra twine through so that way your garland is continuous and it keeps going and, and then you do the same thing with the extra twine and make a little um a little stem by looping it and using a little bit of hot glue so I just kept doing this all the way down my twine alternating the colors um, and I ended up doing six of the cream colored pumpkins and actually seven of the gold yellowy orange pumpkins um, so that that way I would start with the uh, one color and end with the same color on my garland so it's up to you you can make it however long or however short you would like to um, and then once you're done you just cut the excess twine off 
Now that I had all my pumpkins done, I am going to go ahead and take some of that lace ribbon again and I'm going to tie it in between my pumpkins and I'm just cutting small little pieces just to give it something a little bit extra. Um, so this is totally optional. You don't have to do this or you could use different ribbon. Um, it's up to you but I kind of liked how it looked and it kind of tied the other um, DIYs in to this one so everything kind of matches and that was it for this i think it turned out really pretty for fall for this diy i picked up four of these neutral colored uh, dried flower arrangements from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use a uh, paper towel cardboard piece um, but I actually ended up cutting that a little bit over more than half off so you could use a toilet paper roll holder if you wanted to and then I'm going to make a dried floral arrangement that stands up on its own I've seen these around like the wheat dried wheat arrangements and things like that and they're like $40 or something like that so I wanted to make one that was definitely a lot less so basically what I did was I just went around the paper towel roll Thing and I just hot glued in strips the big pieces of uh, floral that were in each bunch and I saved the smaller pieces um, and I'm gonna add those later so I didn't have enough I probably should have had five packs of these dried flowers but that's okay I ended up cutting just one side of the cardboard and I'm gonna use a little bit of hot glue to uh, tuck that underneath there so that way um, it matches up and it looks like it's complete. After all of the long pieces were on, I went ahead and took these shorter pieces that were a different style of dried flowers and I hot glued those around the bottom. And when you're hot gluing these around, you want to make sure that you're keeping the bottom of the stems even with the um, bottom of the cardboard so that that way everything stands up straight. I did end up um, cutting just a little bit off the bottom there just to make sure that it was even um, and then once everything was done I just took some more of that lace ribbon I really love this lace ribbon and <laughs> I'm just gonna use it to tie a little bow around the arrangement um, which I think just finishes it off nicely and makes it just look like a bunch of dried floral and it's perfect for fall or all year long For the last DIY, I'm using one of the 8x10 canvases from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to simply use an X-Acto knife and I'm going to go around the edges of the back with it to take off that canvas. This is the easiest way to remove the canvas. Once that's removed, I went ahead and used some acrylic paint mixed with water to stain the wood frame and I let that dry. Then I'm going to go ahead and take some of the these little wooden stickers that come from Dollar Tree they come in a pack with the leaves and the pumpkins together there's eight pumpkins and eight leaves so I decided to paint the leaves with that yellowy gold color which they actually sell um, the acrylic paint for at Dollar Tree um, and then I took some more of that acrylic paint mixed with water and stained the pumpkins to match the frame let everything dry and then I'm just going to um, take my wooden frame and I'm going to hot glue my canvas on to my wooden frame and then I just cut the excess canvas around the edges to make sure that it was even and it looked nice. 
And then with the pumpkins and the leaves, I'm going to place them on my canvas. I'm just alternating um, from pumpkins to leaves and I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue to secure them down. And that was really it for this DIY. Super simple, but really pretty. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this fall DIY video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.